intro to AP Computer Science in Java Unit 7. Keep in mind, uh, for your information, this video is being recorded one year-ish after the last video was done. I'm sorry, somehow I forgot to do Unit 7. So let's get to it. Unit 7 is something called Array Lists. So hopefully you've just come from Unit 6 so you know what an array is. An array list is very, very similar, but it has a few different features that make them very, very useful. Probably the biggest useful feature is that you don't have to define the size of an array list. You can just keep adding to the array list as you wish. Also, array lists are accessed with uh, methods as opposed to in like indexes with uh, square brackets, for example. So let's take a look and get started doing this. Now, array lists are not part of like the core built in Java. So what that means is we actually have to go up here and import java.util.arraylist. Okay, if you don't do that, you're going to get some kind of weird error. You see that double dot there. Uh, my, my dot key, or my period key is a little bit messed up. So you'll see that a lot today. So just like with everything else, we need to declare it. Now, the array list has this very odd syntax, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. So we type array list. So it's very much like declaring uh, any type of object that we might have done. So you do the name. Now, this is important. Notice that is a less than symbol. And let's say we want an array list of strings. Okay, so we have to declare the type of the array list. And I'm going to make an array list called superheroes. Okay. And it is going to be a new array list. And again, string. And don't forget, it's, it has a very odd syntax, the parentheses here and the semicolon. Now I'm just going to go ahead and compile that and see if it compiles. And I didn't get any errors, so probably this is going to work. Um, so array lists, as I said, are a little bit different to arrays. So if we want to find the how many items are on the array list, now right now it should be zero, we're going to use something called dot size, print ln, and our array list is named superheroes, and it's dot size. Okay. So let's go ahead and run that, compile and run it, and you should see a zero here because we haven't put anything onto the or into or onto the array list. So let's go ahead and do that now and let's go ahead and add some superheroes so I'm going to superheroes dot add and notice it is add and we'll go ahead and add Clark Kent we'll go ahead and add let's see heroes we'll go ahead and add Bruce Wayne and superheroes dot not DDD, ADD, uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll add Diana Prince. And so, yeah, we'll just, we'll just stop there. So now if I printed the size of this array list, I should see three because there are three items on the array list. Let's go ahead and test it. You notice I do like the test. Okay, that way I know my code is working as expected. So. Now, we've got three items. Now, just like with any other, um, you know, with any other array, um, they have an index. So array lists are ordered, just like arrays. So this is gonna be the zeroth index. This is gonna be index one, and this will be index two. So if I wanted to print out, you know, Diana Prince, I would do the following. So system.out.print ln and I'm going to do superheroes dot get and the index. Okay, in this case it is two. Let's go ahead and try that. And you can see we've got Diana Prince, and that is one of you know, Wonder Woman's aliases. So yeah, that's cool. So now this is how we pull information out of the array list. So let's go ahead and put some information. All right, we've already put information into it. Let's go ahead and change some of the information. So watch what I do here. So superheroes dot set. Okay. So I want to set index two, which is Diana Prince. And I want to change that to Wonder Woman. Okay. 
And then what if I then if I go ahead and print that out, you will see that it changed. Okay, so Diana Prince has been changed to Wonder Woman. Now what's really cool about this set is that you know you don't see it here, it actually returns the original value. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing with Bruce Wayne. So I'm gonna just, so I'm gonna say string. Uh, let's see, I don't know how we're gonna say it. So identity equals in this in this particular case superheroes dot set, and Bruce Wayne is index one, and Bruce Wayne of course is the Batman, and so I'm gonna do system dot out dot print ln. Um, we'll say superheroes dot get one plus is plus quote or plus identity and plus I like to put the period at the end to be consistent. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm setting Bruce Wayne to Batman. Um, and then what happens here, it actually returns the original value. So that way we don't lose that value in a case where we need it like this particular one. So let's go ahead and run it. We'll compile and run it. And you'll see the Batman is Bruce Wayne. So identity is now Bruce Wayne. But superheroes no longer has that information because we've changed it to the Batman. Okay, so if I go ahead and print it out, superheroes at this point, this is what we're going to get. Okay. And you can see that these are in order. So we've got Clark Kent, the Batman, and Wonder Woman. Okay. Now it is possible to remove items from our, our array list. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, superheroes dot oops superheroes dot remove um, so let's say we wanted to remove Clark Kent so I'll remove zero and then if I go ahead and print superheroes you'll see that Clark Kent is no longer on the list so we can remove items from an array list as well okay so those are kind of the basic ways that we can interact with an array list um, so first we created it, we add, oops, we add items to the array list. We can get the size. Now if this was an array, we would use uh, dot length instead of dot size. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, and then we can print out individual items by using the get method. We can use the set method to change a particular index to a different value. And then we can also return that value using the set method. Okay, so before we change it, we get the original value. So that can come in handy. And then we can also remove uh, values from our array list. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at traversing array list. Now, traversing array list is uh, essentially the same as traversing a regular array. I guess that should be no space there. So let's go ahead and do for int i equals zero. Again, we're starting at zero. Um, i is going to be less than superheroes dot size, and it's a method. Don't forget the parentheses. And we're going to increment by one. So then what we'll do is we'll do system system dot out dot print ln. Well, actually, let's do it this way. Let's go ahead and do string superhero and we'll just leave it like that and this is something this is kind of a new way I'm teaching this I think it helps beginners especially superhero equals superheroes dot get I and then I'm gonna print superhero and I'm gonna close off that loop and let's go ahead and try it Okay, so now we only have two items here, so the Batman and Wonder Woman. And you can see here, it's, it's the same as arrays, it's the same as traversing a string. And we just start at the zeroth index. 
we go up into the limit. Notice that's less than, not less than or equal to, because it's always plus one. And then we increment by one. Then we pull out the information we need. So superheroes is an array list made up of individual, an individual superhero at a time. So we pull each superhero out one at a time and we print it. Okay. Now we can also do the same thing with an enhanced for loop for string. Now we'll probably get an error here, which is fine. Uh, we'll fix that in a second. Superheroes. And then this is a little bit easier. We just do system.out.println superhero. And I'm going to close that off. Again, I, I'm predicting we'll get an error here. And yeah. So it says variable superhero is already defined. Okay, so because I did this up here, I don't need to put a string here. because We already know that superhero is a, a string. So I can fix that. Or actually, I can't fix that, sorry. Um, so you can see here we got a little bit of an, of an error. So probably what I would do in this, this case is I would do string s. Um, you'll, you'll see that's kind of a common pattern. And then I can now I can go ahead and do that. Okay, again, I don't particularly like that. I like to put the full thing in, um, but in this particular case, I didn't really have a choice. Um, so that is how we traverse array loop, array lists uh, using either a regular loop or an enhanced for loop. Okay. Now, for the next part, developing algorithms, and this is exactly the same. Oops. I, I should have put that in the wrong spot. Yeah, the, the scrolling on this program is terrible on a Mac, at, at least. And so let's go ahead and put that there where it belongs. Okay, I'm gonna go head down here. I do like to have things in a pretty consistent order here. All right, algorithms. So one of the algorithms we're looking for here is calculating. Uh, Let's see, let's go ahead and calculate an average, okay? Um, or actually, no, we're gonna go ahead and find the maximum, okay? So let's go ahead and create an array list. So we're gonna create an array list, and I'm gonna use integer. Now notice I didn't use int, okay? So my belief is that with array list, it must be a, or I should say an object, okay? So we use the integer wrapper around an integer. Okay. So new array list. Again, I think you should know what that is by now. Um, hopefully, if not, look that one up, I guess. So I've created a, an array list of integers. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and do averages dot add. I'm just going to go ahead here and add a few averages. So think of these as test scores, for example or average scores for a student at the end of the semester. Okay, and these were not, these are just, I think, random numbers I picked. 87, 45, 75, 99, 93, and 78. Okay, so I've added six averages to the Array list. And now what I want to do is I want to find the highest number. So I'm going to go ahead and do int max equals averages dot get zero. Now I don't know that 87, zero, the zeroth index is the highest number, but I know it could be the highest number. So watch what I do here. I'm going to do for int i equals one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assume this is the highest number, but I'm gonna compare it against all of these other numbers just to make sure. So I'm gonna say averages, oops, so i is less than averages dot, remember it's size, parentheses, and i plus plus. Okay, so then what I can do is if Actually, let's go ahead and do int average. So what I'll do here is I'll say if, so I'll say average equals 
averages dot get i. So that will pull out each individual average one at a time. And then all I can do is just check it. So if this current average is greater than the max, the max now equals that new average. So I need to go through every single one of these. And then at the end, I'm just going to go ahead and print out the result. So I'll say the max is well, plus max uh, plus quote period quote. So just to kind of explain that again, if you didn't see the other videos, uh, so we take 87 and then we compare it to 45. Is 45 greater than 87? Nope. Is 75 greater than 87? Nope. Is 99 greater than 87? Yes, it is. So in this case, I would then change the max to the new average, which is 99. And then, of course, I continue going. And we got, oh, that's so annoying, sorry. Um, is 93 greater than 99? Nope. Is 78 greater than 99? Nope. And we just print out the max that we found. And the same thing would work with a minimum if we wanted to reverse the greater than to less than. So the max is 99. So this is a very common algorithm type thing where we're searching through an entire array, or in this case, array list, and we're looking for a certain thing. In this case, we're looking for the maximum. Okay, And then you can probably see that the same pattern would be used for you know, finding something in, this, in an array list. Now I could have also done for int average in averages. I could have done uh, I could have done an enhanced for loop here, but yeah, I'll just do it that way. So searching works exactly the same. So I'm going to go back to my superheroes, and I'm going to say for you know int i equals zero, i is less than superheroes dot size i plus plus, and let's say I'm searching. For to see if, let's say, the Batman is a superhero. So I might say, uh, so superhero equals superheroes dot get. Again, we're using the get method. And again, I'm doing this just because it's a lot clearer for beginners. I need to first pull out the information I need, then I'm going to go ahead and compare it. So if superhero, hero, hero, Dot. Now remember, this is a string, so I got to use equals, not the equal sign. Uh, dot equals, and we'll say the Batman. Oops. So if the Batman's on the list, then I can say system dot out dot print ln the Batman is a superhero. But notice I still have to search through the entire list. Now in this case, there's only uh, two items, so it shouldn't take long. Uh, okay, I missed the parenthesis. Hopefully some of you caught that. And here we go, the Batman is a superhero. And so let's go, let's go ahead and just change that to see if, make sure it's working. So I'll say Superman, since I forgot, didn't forget, but I didn't put Superman on the list. Okay, and it doesn't show up. So that's, that's what we expected. Now again, I could also do this with an enhanced for loop. So for string uh, string s, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Superheroes. Okay, so if s dot equals uh, the Batman. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this because I'm kind of lazy. Ooh, that's way over. And I need to close that off. All right, see if that works or if we get that error. Uh, we got an error. Oops. Okay, now this one, it let us do that. So you know, that matches the original one. So you can see how it basically functions the same way as the other one. And because I didn't put a period there, I didn't make 
period, but that's okay. Okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna do in this particular video. Um, I'm kind of running out of time here, but sorting. Uh, watch the unit six arrays video, and I think in there I talk about sorting and how a selection sort works, how an insertion sort. I also have two like independent videos, uh, one about selection sort, one about insertion sort that explains these in details or in detail. But the only thing you have to keep in mind is that since it's an array list, um, you know, you're gonna be using get uh, and set and all that sort of thing instead of you know, using just the indexes and brackets. Okay, so real quick, don't forget to import java.util.arraylist. And yeah, okay, we have this weird syntax uh, for setting up, creating an array list. And don't forget to declare the type. And again, if it's an integer or an int or double, use the wrapper classes, don't use the primitives. And then we can get the how many items are on the array list by using dot size in parentheses. We can get a value using the get method. We can change a value by using the set method. And we can remove a value by using the remove method. Um, traversing array list is the same as traversing arrays. You just use the index and work your way through it. And again, you see here how you know, I did this little you know, kind of helper variable. I could have put superheroes.getI right here. I didn't have to do this step. But especially for those of you who you know, are not or have a little trouble, you know, what information am I looking at? What information am I pulling out? This might help you uh, to, to do that a little bit better. We can also use enhanced for loops, as we discussed earlier. And, you know, basically, you know, some of the algorithms that you'll see in AP Computer Science, you know, finding a maximum value, finding a minimum value, et cetera, et cetera. This is how you do it. You assume the first value is the correct one, and then you confirm it by checking against all of the other values. That's why this is not a zero because we don't want to compare the first value to itself. We could, it's not a big deal, but it's just inefficient. And then searching works exactly the same way. We go through one by one, look for our condition, in this case, the Batman. And if it's true, then we do whatever it is we need to do. Okay. And again, sorting and with selection sort, insertion sort, you know, check out my other videos for that. Um, it should be pretty straightforward at this point. So good luck with your test, and uh, yeah, you're, hopefully you're almost, almost at the end of the course. So uh, take care, and uh, as I like to say, keep on coding.